the puck to LaPierre. left in this period. The game is still scoreless. New York's got possession here in their own end. Dishes it to Kreider. On the attack along the boards. Already stopped that one. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And that's a smart heads-up play by Zabinijad. Washington's won the face-off deep in their own end. Passed up ahead. And he gives it over to Pacioretty. And he slides it quickly to Strom. Slick feed. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by the Frenier. Slides the pass over to Jensen. Pacioretty's got it in the defensive end. The Capitals gain the zone. And now he moves it quickly to Strom. As he used to just paddle the swat it away. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly. Oh! Off the post it in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I have not much room available, but that one perfectly executed. Getting on the board first in game one of a series is always what you want to do. You want to have that start where you have the urgency and you put your opponent on their heels. Well, step one, check mark. The Rangers crowd has really come to life here early in this first period after that goal. Uh, anytime that you're sitting in the room before the game, you know there's all that energy. Well, they've corralled it, and it has just exploded all at the same time with an absolutely electric start getting on the board early in the opening period. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Brzezinski's won the faceoff. They score! Shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the pane. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Capitals get a hold of the puck off the draw. Steps inside. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Miller. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides it quickly to Mantha. He carries the puck up along the wing. Dumps it into the ozone. Grabbed along the board by Miller. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Great use of the stick of the defensive end by Mantha. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. And that's broken up by VC. The Capitals gain control of the puck against the wall. Here we go, up in rush here. Oh, a clutch save! What a great read breaking up the pass. The Rangers have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position. Scores! And I think he put this in on his own. Uh, he did, James, and this is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. pressure lately now up by three fox has crossed the line and gained the zone the capitals look to start the transition game taken along the wall by zabinijan big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick big stop by the keeper well, fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung my goodness look at this the pressure is really starting to cook Fox is known for making 
clean, crisp passes. His tape-to-tape -tape zone ability means he can set his teammates with ease. Let's see if one of these stars can keep their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. perfectly and got himself set to position James I thought he had it he got a good chunk of it but he didn't get it all the Rangers have been all over them and there's still plenty of time left in this first and from off the wing he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up quick feed down low handles it along the blue line Sean, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. New York's clipping on all cylinders tonight. They've added to the lead, and this is a total route. Off the left wing and into center. New York's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. Yeah, that's a bad pass, and they'll be forced to do this over again. Great reach with the poke check by Sandine. Milano's going to play it against the half wall. Washington's got the puck in the corner. Oh, what a save by Shesterkin. Gain momentum up along the side. Quick feed to Keppel. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck's booted away. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. He got all of that hit. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Manta. Puck scooped up by Curtis. Made the stop on that play. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Shot! And he's got the answer for that one. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. The Rangers are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. Goodrow's won the draw and they'll look to set up. Here's a pass in front! Defensive heads up play to pick it off. Takes the shot. Slapped away by the blocker. There's back to that saves. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Ovechkin's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Tees it up from the back end. Made the stop on the play. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through the sea, and he finds the puck to make the save. Loose puck battle along the boards. Wow, the home team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Takes the feed as center and moves up ahead. Great reach with the poke check. Keeps the hold of the puck. The Rangers will play it in their own end. Washington's ready to go on the attack. LaPierre's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is, shot right in front, and that's blocked. Stones him in front. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. New York's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Projects won it off the faceoff. Schneider stick handling in his own zone. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They got numbers. Stop that one. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. 
More than half the frame has been played here. New York's got a 5-0 lead. That's right, 5-zip is where we sit. The Capitals win the draw. Feeds the puck over to Molenston. There's a hit on the play. Picked up along the wall by Obey Kubel. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. The Rangers came hungry to play this one, and they lead as a result here in the first. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Puck picked up by Trocek. The Rangers have it now. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. New York's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Milano. Feeds the puck to Pacioretty. Takes it and looks ahead. Puts it on net. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Shesterkin. He looks deep to Kreider. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Edmondson's been nabbed for tripping. opportunity on the power play in this game and specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for he was locked in there in front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up mcmichael's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the face off The Rangers win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Pinned up along the boards. And he slides it quickly to McMichael. Across the line from center. Poked away. Washington's crossed the line and on the attack. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Protus is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. New York's won the draw in the neutral zone. Dished on over to Kreider. New York's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Trocek. The Capitals have possession shorthanded. Washington's in now. New York's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance! Oh, great save by Lindgren. Trocek's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he's managed to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Wrist slam! Oh, what a stop on the paddle! As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Big play inside the defensive zone. He might have a step here. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Washington's got the puck along the wall. Knocked away by Zabinijad. Handles the pass at center. Oh, what a chance in the slot. Put it wide. Well, a golden opportunity, James, and plan from the middle of the ice is exactly what you want, but he just misses. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. New York's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. Puck grab by Truba. Moves it to Cooley. Sends it in on the attack. Washington's looking to break out. Through center. 
sent into the offensive zone. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. The Capitals take possession in the neutral zone. All oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow! And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Rangers have played the puck from behind the net. number one comes to an end we still got lots more still in store kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game and we'll be back with more in a moment Continue to play shorthanded. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Gains the zone along the right wall. Quick feed to Kepo. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Checks ready for the draw in this man advantage. The Rangers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Carlson. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me. Uh, scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Washington's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Grabbed along the board by Milano. Truba's got the puck in his own zone. Kreider's got it along the wing. Your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. 
The Rangers have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Great positioning in the defensive end. The Rangers are across the line and into the offensive end. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Lindgren's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. The Rangers lead here in the second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. New York's got it against the boards. The Capitals gain possession in their own end. Washington's got the puck against the half wall. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Quick shot! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Angles it over to Van Riemsdyk. Great reach by Obey Kubel. Knocked off the puck. Here's a short pass to Lafreniere. Washington's got possession of the puck. And now he moves it to Obey Kubel. Great defensive effort with the stick. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to VC. And somehow he hangs on. Scrum along the boards. Take it along the wall by Strom. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. A chance for front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Picked up along the boards by Strom. And now it's over to Milano. Big hit on the play. Poked away in the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Lindgren's moving it ahead. Moves it to Milano. Here we go, pucks in deep. Gets it over to Cooley. Scrum along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Brodzinski. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Washington's got a hold of the puck. Slides it up front. Quick feed to McMichael. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out, wow! The Rangers have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. New York's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Schneider's got it in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Protus. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Puts it in deep. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, puts it off the iron, had the side of the net, but doesn't go. Washington's bench looks deflated as they hit the post. Listen, you gotta generate some offense when you're getting blown out of the game. You gotta muster up something, and that's just another miss. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. New York's won the draw and they'll go to work. Picked up along the wall by Zabinijan. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Capitals pick up steam and are on the attack. Takes a shot. Shesterkin's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Lapierre's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. Lindgren's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. With the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. 
Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Sends it over to Wilson. Down the right side and into the zone. A great cross scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build off that last shift. The Capitals now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. A lot of work to do to make that happen. Here's a short pass to LaPierre. And the puck leaves the zone. Moves around along the half wall. That's off a stick. Truba's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Miller. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Fires it on net. Good stop by Lindgren. New York's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Brzezinski's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Quick shot! Oh, and it stays out! He got a piece of that one! Turn that chance aside. Moves it to Obey Cavell. Here's a shot! And that sails over the net! And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Melanston's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. once again send out their power play unit. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Moves it quickly over to Trocek. They go on the attack through center. And a puck check knocks the puck away. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Rangers gain possession. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Carlson. And a successful clearing attempt. Picked off in the offensive end. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. And they get the puck out. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. And all alone! And that's broken up. Well, he thought he had a lot of time there, but the defender makes a great play, works hard to get back to position, and takes away the shot. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Melenson's up and ready to get back on the ice. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Washington's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Grabs control of it at the point. Trocek's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Pacioretty. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to Trocek. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Sends the pass over. Shot! Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. The Sirkins made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shoot. Scores! And look who's at it again! Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen and the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. New York's probably thinking right now, let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy lead, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. Locks it into the offensive zone. Truba's taking it from his own end. 
throws it in. The Capitals have it against the wall. The Rangers have it on the offensive end. Taken by Truba. And that goes off a player in front. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Poked away at center by Truba. Takes the feed from the left side. Oh, what a chance. It puts it just wide. Well, and the puck was right in his wheelhouse. He only had a small margin and wasn't able to hit it. The Rangers gain control of the puck. New York's got it in their own zone. Takes it across the blue line. There's a shot. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goal. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. The Rangers probably don't want this period to end, given the way things have played out here tonight. 100% agree with you. They got the mojo, they're moving the puck, they've got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission, which can pause and give their opponent some rest that they need. New York's got the puck. Sturkin's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. New York's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. And that was stop. Krempe's taking it from his own end. Scrum ensues along the boards. New York's got just a few seconds left here with the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Rangers take it across the line. Fires it! Oh, what a save by Lindgren! There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? New York's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession. Scores! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. Washington's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Moving into the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to Ovechkin. New York's got the puck. Washington's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Denies the shooter on that play. Even though goaltenders get set in their butterfly positioning, they still have to be agile and be able to move across their crease. Right there, that's evidence of it, and with that beautiful save. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Slides the puck to Pacioretty. Washington's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Edmondson. Takes the pass. Great read with the stick. Moves it to Pacioretty. The Rangers have the puck now. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. 
And I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. here tonight on the ice and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. He grabs the puck here at the point. Turned aside with the glove by Lindgren. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Rangers continue to lead here in the third listening to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. Off the draw they take possession. Now a quick pass to Wilson. Washington's got the puck against the boards. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. And he keeps that one out. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Van Riemsdyk's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to LaPierre. And now it's grabbed by Truba. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Shot! Going with the stop. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. The Capitals win the draw. And he takes the feed. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Capitals will play it in their own end. Shot! And he makes the save. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Capitals have it now. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Slides the puck to Brodzinski. Poked away by Jensen. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. The Capitals have it from their own end. 
Tries to get the puck over to Mantha. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, this is almost in dangerous hit territory, James. You get that chicken wing up, you add some hot sauce to it, you're going to the box. The key to the umbrella on the power play, James, and we saw it earlier, is when you have three up high across the ice, you actually pull the coverage up a little bit. If you do that, you can open up cross seams with good motion, but you got to get the defense running. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Trocek's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Capitals are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four-on-four -four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Passes the puck over to the Michael. With possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slides the puck across to Sabinajad. The Capitals look to start the transition game. Fox has got the puck now in his own end. Quick pass to Sabinajad. The Rangers play it along the wing. Grabs the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Zone draw. Shot and cut that one out of the net. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. The Rangers' power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. Great use of the stick to pick it away. Scores! And there it is. The power play goal lights the leg. I just love this goal change because it's about effort on the puck and recognizing who can get to it first. And he jumps. When he jumps, he makes his opponent vulnerable, and then he fights for position, gains possession, and then makes a beautiful play. Just love it from start to finish. The Rangers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Goalie can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. Washington's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Moves it to Capo. Takes a shot. Take control of it. Bottom of the net. 
Grabbed along the board by Miller. Penalty coming up as the ref did not like that. And the play's whistle dead. Here's the call. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Now, with earlier really success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Washington's got the puck shorthanded. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Scarbosa. Handles that one. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to pound the puck. Washington's on the attack. Quick pass across to the level. Oh, that's a smart hit. A chance on the rush here. Scores! They came flying in and would not be denied. play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage odd man rush perfectly executed speed puck movement and of course finish new york's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period well they've had such a impressive performance james it's been dominant in all areas of the ice and there's been no lag or no let up the message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench keep pushing Makes it look easy with the stop. And that's broken up. Casey's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Penalty coming up here. Every once in a while, you just have this kind of night, and you just don't have it. And shift after shift, nothing goes right. Well, we have a moment. Let's send it down ringside with our own Carlin Bain. Fox has had a solid performance and has used his zone ability to get things going. And it's reflected on the score sheet, guys. You know his coaches are loving this performance as much as I am. Sends it in deep. New York's got possession of the puck. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that's off a stick. Teammates have trust in you, and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. New York's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. And he slides it quickly to Sandin. Stopped by the goaltender. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Cronus hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. The Rangers start with the puck in their own end. Coming to the slot. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Panarin. Is there. Trochek's ready to take the draw here on this power play. New York's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Sends it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Trochek. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Sends it quickly to Protus. Moves the puck back inside his own end. 
from the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Picked up along the wall by Melenston. Quick feed to Sabinashad. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Great use of the stick here at center ice. The Rangers played along the boards. Feeds it over to LaPierre. Textbook poke check by Trocek. Fox is moving the puck through his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Trocek's got control of the puck in the corner. Takes it into the slot. and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Final word sounds, and we are all done with this one. But that's how you want to kick off a playoff series by taking that opening win and getting that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top of. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of the series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. The playoffs are a war of attrition, and we know that they will continue, and we will see you then at the next broadcast. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. We'll talk to you then.